Don't worry. Washington State has a history of large earthquakes. More than 1,000 earthquakes are registered in Washington State each year. In an earthquake, non-structural elements, which is anything that does not actually hold the building up, may become unhooked, dislodged, thrown about, and tipped over. This can cause extensive damage, interruption of operations, injuries, and even death. By taking action now, you can prevent injuries, save lives, and reduce the damage caused by earthquakes and other geologic hazards. Non-structural hazards can often be very easy and inexpensive to remedy. Positioning furniture differently in the room, bolting heavy and tall furniture to the walls, and removing dangerous and heavy items from top shelves are all possible fixes. Use your safety committee, emergency response teams, and maintenance personnel to identify and reduce or eliminate hazards. Focus on those hazards that represent the greatest life safety threat. Okay, so I think that this will probably fall in front of the door. Can we move it over here? Yeah. Let's start by moving any heavy furniture or equipment that may move and block exits. Ken Yuri from Emergency Supply Center will help with installing hardware and other non-structural procedures. Computers and monitors should be secured with seismic buckles, earthquake matting, or other earthquake restraining devices. Tall bookcases or other heavy furniture should be secured to the wall using approved fastening techniques. Wall-mounted objects over five pounds, such as monitors or televisions, should be connected to structural framing. File cabinets should be secured to the wall. drawers should remain locked when not in use. If the drawers are unlocked, they can become projectiles. Wall decorations and pictures should be securely attached to the walls using recommended methods. Here, we're using a picture snap with Velcro corners. Closed eye hooks or wire could also be used. Potted plants or other heavy items should be properly secured with Velcro or guardrails. Hanging plants or mobiles should be well secured with wire loops or closed eye hooks. AV equipment, such as monitors, video players, radios, speakers, and so on, should be securely anchored with heavy-duty Velcro, earthquake matting, or seismic buckles. Hey, Roger, what we're going to be doing today is taking your monitor, since you have all these windows here, and the glass could blow in on you and give you cuts and injuries, we're going to move you to a safer location away from the window. Oh, I see. Desks should also be moved away from windows in case they fracture during a quake. Or shatter-resistant film should be put on the glass to prevent broken pieces from flying about. 
Fragile objects should be attached to surfaces using either earthquake putty or museum wax, or placed on earthquake mats to reduce damage or injury. Okay, let's go ahead and take the high objects down so they don't hurt anybody. Okay, I'll take this one. Heavy objects should be moved from overhead cabinets or storage areas. Rolling carts should have their wheels locked. Bookcases should have bungee cords or guardrails to keep books from tumbling off the shelves. How many of these we're going to print once we know what our budget? Yeah, our budget. Remember, when the ground starts to shake, do not run. Drop, cover, and hold under a desk or heavy piece of furniture. Remain under the desk until the shaking stops. Every person should have a supply kit containing water, non-perishable first aid supplies, heavy-duty trash bags, a whistle, a flashlight or light sticks, heavy gloves, a battery-operated radio, and extra batteries. Prepare because you care. For more information, call your local emergency management office or Washington State Emergency Management at 1-800-562-6108.